Hello, I, uh, I'm going to show you how I set up my Wacom Cintiq 21UX and installed it, how I set it up on my uh, Surface Pro, the uh, first generation Surface Pro. So as you can see, it's hooked up and uh, it all looks good. Um, so one of the uh, issues when trying to hook up your or install your Cintiq to your Surface Pro is the Cintiq has only uh, a DVI cable and the Surface Pro of course does not have that it has a mini display port so if you can see here there's a mini display port and the hookup that goes in there and so what I had to do was uh, I, I went to Amazon and I found a, uh, I guess it would be a, uh, a DVI to a mini display port adapter. And uh, if you come back here, I can show you. Here's the uh, adapter. There's a DVI cable. Goes right to the, uh, the Cintiq. And of course it's hooked up now, so everything is good to go there, at least for the display. Um, something else that I noticed when we uh, hooked this up or installed it, you had to get the latest drivers and uh, when you go to the uh, Wacom website and go and get your drivers One of the problems we had was the, the latest drivers um, actually were not working for it. You see here the compatible products for the latest drivers here. You can see it says uh, there's the uh, tw Cintiq 21UX. It's the second generation DTK2100 and that's what I have here. Uh, so when I installed that one, it uh, it really wasn't working. I mean, it looked like it was installing, but uh, after I tried to, uh, well, after I downloaded it and installed it, um, and I tried to open up any kind of settings, um, I was told by my computer that uh, there wasn't a compatible device uh, that was, uh, it didn't recognize any compatible devices. So... Um, of course, we know that there's a compatible vice, device that's already hooked up to your Surface Pro, so there is a problem. Well, if you go to the previous drivers, you will see that uh, the previous drivers also work for the 21UX, uh, the DTK2100. So I actually uh, uh, downloaded and installed these instead. And when I did that, uh, I went and pushed my uh, my settings button up here and as you can see all the settings pop up so we have the driver it's all installed and then I was able to go in and uh, set up all my uh, all my settings um, and I also uh, calibrated it so if we let's calibrate it here real quick again I uh, mapped the uh, the properties to uh, one of my express keys. That way, I can always get to them easy, really quick. Calibrated here. Say calibrate. It's going up here. Okay, good to go. We are calibrated. Uh, tried to get this to work with uh, a, just a couple different uh, art programs that I use. Uh, one of them being uh, Sketchbook Pro. Um, that one really is not working right now. In fact, if we open this up and just start trying to draw here, it's just a little bit off. You can kind of see the cursor's right there, but it's it's off by about. I don't know, half a half an inch or something. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to uh, fix that. And we'll 
close that up. However, I did find out how to, uh, or I figured out how to, how to draw on uh, Clip Studio Paint EX. So when I go to Clip Studio Paint EX, um, one thing that was wrong, I, I actually started, I, when I started to draw here, uh, it didn't recognize anything. And uh, one thing you have to do is you go up to your, your preferences here. You'll see here at the top, uh, using the tablet service, which service you're going to use. There's WinTab, and then there's Tablet PC. So you got to switch it to Tablet PC. Say OK. Once you do that, now you're in, right? Now you're good to go. Let's do, um, let's see what we got here. There we go. Okay. It's working really good. Try a little drawing here. draw one of my characters. He's a duck and uh, his name's Gideon Drake. He's a duck. Just a quick sketch here that we're doing. Okay. Um, do a little bit more here. Just to test this guy out. I really like uh, Clip Studio Paint EX. In fact, I had... Uh, I had Manga Studio. Uh, actually, I got four in Manga Studio 4 when I first got it, and I really like that. And then uh, ended up upgrading to uh, Monk Studio 5. And of course now the latest version is, uh, they call it uh, Clip Studio Paint EX now. They just changed the name and it doesn't really matter to me, I guess, whatever they want to call it. I actually did kind of like uh, Manga Studio, the name, but... Okay. There we go. There's our little hero. He's a, let's see, he's a Navy SEAL veteran and he has adventures. And, uh, anyway, that's Gideon Drake. All right, so we have our uh, Clip Studio Paint EX working pretty well. Working good. Um, I really like this. Um, so one of the things that's different, of course, uh, than the uh, Surface Pro is um, it doesn't have the uh, hand gestures, uh, any of those functions. But uh, I really do like. I, I actually I don't really I don't really use them that much anyway. When I had the Surface Pro just by itself, and. Um, I actually had a Cintiq 21UX uh, where I work and uh, really enjoyed work using it. Um, and so I decided I'd get one uh, for myself and uh, hook it up to my Surface Pro. And uh, very fortunate that everything works, works really well. And um, so that's kind of my uh, basic demo on uh, how to hook up your Cintiq 21 UX to the Surface Pro, uh, first generation, and um, that's pretty much it. So, uh, if you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up if you like my video. Uh, if you have any comments, comment please. If you have any questions or anything, uh, let me know. Um, but uh, that's pretty much my video. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.